Hey guys, Richard here with Downgrid Survival. Going to bring you some news headlines on this Monday morning. Now, admittedly, I'm a news junkie. I spend way too much time every day uh, scouring the internet and reading news headlines, reading a few articles. I'm on social media, uh, gathering information, uh, seeing what other people are saying and, and, and talking about that's going on in their communities. And by doing this, it gives me a larger picture of what's going on and helps me as a prepper to be better prepared because I start seeing trends, I start seeing things that are happening. And uh, a lot of times I'll, I'll come to conclusions long before they even show up in mainstream media. Now there's a lot of things we all know that don't even show up in mainstream media. And I know, <clears throat> and I know that there's a lot of you that don't even watch mainstream media anymore. And uh, you know, you get your news from, from YouTubers like myself. So I thought it might be a good idea to start bringing you some news headlines and to share in with you some, some things that I'm seeing. So in no particular order, these are some headlines that I grabbed from this morning. Um, <clears throat> U.S. Indo-Pacific Chief sees the largest military buildup in Chinese Army history. So, you know, they're reporting that the Chinese are on the move and they're building up, you know, their military forces in a big, big way. And it just makes you wonder, what do they have planned there? Uh, next one. Texas GOP Rep. Myra Flores says, Speaker Nancy Pelosi pushed her daughter during a photo op. I've seen the video. The woman should be arrested for assault. She just straight up uh, gave the uh, the girl the elbow and, and shoved her out of the way. Uh, just, just... That's a, that's a good example of how our elitist government think they're just above the law and they can do whatever they want to do, right? Okay, moving on. Americans stealing gas, reselling it amid record prices. Well, you know, uh, it, it's going to continue to happen. It's just part of our society collapse. You know, people are going to be opportunists. They're going to take advantage of others. And uh, when desperate people get desperate, they do desperate things. So yeah, that's no big surprise there. Uh, so uh, make sure you uh, you know you get those little locking gas caps for your vehicle, right? Uh, keep people from being able to siphon gas out. <clears throat> Fully nude bicyclist flashes children at Seattle Pride Parade. Cops say it's okay. Huh? You know. There was a uh, an article, or actually a news poll, I think, that came out a few weeks ago. It just talked about um, how most people here in the United States are seeing a decline in our morals. Yeah, clearly our, our morals have been just thrown by the wayside with some of the things that are going on and how children are being indoctrinated into, um, you know, some of the things they're being indoctrinated into. But here you have a, a nude guy riding a bicycle down a, a, a pride parade and, and cops just allow him to get away with it and say it's okay. Well, it's not okay, but that's where our society is headed. Moving on. Joe Biden needs to be coached by German and French leaders to turn and pose for a group photo at the G7. So the G7 met this past uh, weekend, and uh, there was quite a few things that came from that, but one of them being that, oh, Joe Biden, you know, wandering around, and and uh, he didn't have Nurse Jill there to, to guide him and tell him exactly what to do. And he didn't have his little card that, told, that tells him exactly uh, what he had to do and where he had to stand and what he had to say. So he got lost. And uh, so some of the other leaders had to kind of coach him along and say, come on, come on over here, Joe, because you know, we're going to take this photo. Um, yeah, leader of the free world there. Okay, moving on. We've got <clears throat> another closure. One of the largest chicken producers in the United States has announced a Tennessee plant shutdown. And they didn't give a reason. Hmm. Over the weekend, I released a video uh, talking about uh, a map that was put together that has all the closures, all the disruptions, all, you know, everything that's going on with our food supply. And uh, there was a list of like 100 items, you know, 100 places here in the United States. Well, actually, there was a list of like 500 uh, where there was disruptions, but that also included things like grocery store hacks and grocery store fires and, and things of that nature. But combined, when you look at this list, there's a huge, huge number of incidents that are very questionable that have disrupted our food supply. And remember the, the quote, uh, who said it? I don't remember who said it, but uh, those who control the food supply control the people, right? And that's exactly where we're headed, so... 
yeah, another closure there. Um, here's an interesting one. A nurse practitioner employed at Illinois Health Center announces she will no longer prescribe white conservative men Viagra in the wake of the SCOTUS decision on Roe versus Wade. So how does this relate to prepping? Well, uh, it shows a breakdown in the rule of law. Okay, so here you have a medical professional whose creed is to do no harm, and she's taking a political stance on her beliefs, and she's not going to uh, prescribe meds um, based on your ethnicity. And this just shows you, I mean, this is just one small example of thousands and thousands of examples that, that are out there where uh, there is a division among the people. And we are such, we have never been more divided. You know, considering the 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 atrocities that happened uh, between black and white here in the United States ever, ever since the, the time of slavery, uh, even up through the 60s and 70s, even today there's such a division between black and white here in the United States. But even setting that aside, there's even, in my opinion, a much larger division that has taken place. Because it's not about black-white. It's not about, you know, your the color of your skin. It's not about... Uh, your political beliefs anymore, uh, it's it, or your political standing, it's your very ideology. You know, it's it's everything about you, and we are all created differently. God created each of us as individuals. He created us all to be different, but He expected us to coexist and to get along and to be patient with each other. And in a world of you know, in here in the United States at least of 350 million people. Everyone has become indoctrinated into believing that they can get what they want and everybody wants it their way And it's just impossible to do and so we have become so divided and this is just one small one small headline, but <clears throat> That that's gonna be the fall of our of our nation um, Because you know united we stand divided we fall and we are so divided and we can't get along We can't agree on anything um, That's you know that that's where that's where it is that's where we're headed um drag queen wearing a thong twerks for children at pride event in alaska you know i lived in alaska for three years when i was in the military and beautiful place loved it um interesting place you know it's the last frontier it's it's uh you know when you think of alaska you think of the wilderness right you think of the the beauty the the uh uh, large game life, uh, fishing, uh, village people. You don't necessarily think of drag queens wearing thongs. Um, my hell, the world has changed. Joe Biden slurs through speech with the G7 leaders. Says another pandemic is on the horizon. Well, this isn't the first time old Joe has said that recently. So, there was another... Uh, um, uh, video where he was talking with a reporter here about a week ago and it caught everybody by by surprise where he kind of fumbled through and said that there was another there was another one on the way so you know what <clears throat> be ready for it um uh it, it's coming it's it's he said it he said it best right sometimes uh you know every just about everything that comes out of his mouth is a lie except for when it isn't and usually when it isn't it's a gaffe or something that he's fumbling through that he's not supposed to say <clears throat> so in this instance, I tend to believe that he's right and that there will be another one coming. California man charged with attempted murder for using a flamethrower on police at Los Angeles pro-abortion night of rage. A flamethrower, of all things. <clears throat> you know, this is, uh, we haven't heard a lot about the, uh, the, the, the riots surrounding the Roe versus Wade. Um, I know they're happening. I've seen some video clips on it, so we know that it's happening out there. It's just not really being reported. So far, I don't think it's nearly as bad as what it was in 2020, thankfully, because uh, I really thought it would it would be that bad or worse. Um, but so far, it doesn't appear to be. So if you're aware of something like that, please drop it in the comments section below and let me know. Bring it to my attention. But at least I'm, I am thankful that it's not as bad as what uh, I was fearing that it might be. But then again, it's not over yet either. So, um, but you know, that headline there, it grabbed my attention because it's, it's an attack on our law enforcement. And I talked about that recently, that thin blue line and, and it doesn't take much to break that line. And, and when that line breaks, there's nothing to hold back, um, you know, 
uh, our, the collapse of our society. Um, people, people will do, you know, unchecked, people will do heinous things. And when they're in check, there's a lot of good people that will continue to be good, right? But they're opportunists. A lot of them are opportunists. So they might be good folks. You know, your neighbors might be great folks. But given an opportunity, are they going to, you know, take advantage of that? Yeah, probably. So, yeah. Yeah. Moving on. Uh, Pro-abortion rioters attempt to storm the Arizona Capitol. Now, that's not, uh, that's probably one you heard about it that did make mainstream media. Um, they tried to uh, storm into the Arizona Capitol on two nights. And uh, they were repelled each time, thank thankfully. Um, but no one's using the word insurrection for that one for some reason. Hmm. Interesting there. Uh, we're going on. Dick Sporting Goods will not say if it will offer 4000 to employees who refuse to terminate their pregnancies. So Dick Sporting Goods, <clears throat> Apple, Amazon, uh, I think Walmart got in on it, and, and a number of other ones, right? Uh, have all pledged money to those who want to go and get abortions and ha they have to travel across state lines to go get it done now because it's now being outlawed in so many states, thankfully. Uh, so a lot of these companies are going to you know, start offering up big cash prizes for women who want to go and do this and have this procedure done. Uh, so the question is, what about those who want to keep their children? Are they entitled to, to extra monies? Well, they should be, right? Um, so whatever your stance is on Roe versus Wade, that's, that's the news headline, and that's uh, bringing it to you. A uh, Canadian plant will produce nearly 10 tons of crickets for human and pet consumption. Hmm. Yeah, control the, the food, control the food supply, and uh, they control the world. So, um, yeah, I, I hope we don't reach a point where we are forced to eat crickets and, and other critters. I know some of you like it, you know, some of you, you know, that's your thing. It's not mine, but yeah, whatever. Uh, troubling calls for Clarence, or, excuse me, troubling calls for Clarence Thomas assassination spread across social media after Roe versus Wade. You know, right after that was announced, uh, I, I heard a couple of, uh, uh, a couple of people in Washington, D.C. that called for the, uh, abolishment of of the supreme court and other people of course are calling for assassinations and other people are calling for court packing and again this goes back down to the rule of law and there's a lot of people in this world or in our country that if they just don't get their way then they're going to find another they're going to find a loophole right they're going to find a way around it and uh, that's just their mentality uh, if i don't get what i want i'm going to destroy things burn things down and uh can you imagine if if our Supreme Court went away? Um, I mean, that's that in itself is that bring an end to to our society. Um, moving on, we got a few more here. So Navy threatens to penalize sagers who purposely misuse gender pronouns. Hmm. So our woke military. I'm a veteran, so I can I can talk to this right. Uh, I'm so ashamed of our military. And, uh, and people don't realize just how vulnerable the United States is now. I, I would, you, you probably are after the pullout in Afghanistan and you saw how tragically that went. Uh, but our woke military leaders are putting their priorities in all the wrong things. And, you know, I, I can't help but wonder if it's part of the bigger plan, if it's not deliberate. And uh, it's just going to be part of the, the fall of the United States. Um, because our, our military has been weakened so much. And, um, yeah... It's, it's, it's tragic. It's tragic. <laughs> Belarus is mobilizing for war after long aiding the Russian invasion. So I dove into this article a little bit, and, and they're actually, uh, yeah, they're prepping for war. They're getting ready for it. They have a small military force. It's only like 45,000. <coughs> Excuse me. So, so not significant, but still, um, it's the implication. It's, it's the idea behind it that uh, another country could get pulled into the war there. Uh, North Dakotans are outraged that Bill Gates, the largest private farmland owner in the U.S., apparently buys 13.5 million potato farm. Now, what's he need with all those potatoes? 
So by now, I'm sure you're aware, Bill Gates has purchased, you know, is purchasing farmland, just everything he can get his hands on, he's purchasing it. Now, what I haven't learned, and, and, and put this down in the comments if you are aware, uh, because what I would like to know is, are any of these farms in operation? Is he doing anything with it? Because there's another headline, and I don't have it here, but there's another headline uh, talking about Bill Gates is heavily invested in, in bio labs that are growing meat. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me, I'm getting a horse here. So maybe he's trying to control the food supply and so that he can force you to buy uh, lab-raised meat. I don't know. But it's bad. Whatever it is, it's, it's, it's no good. Another closure to announce. Kentucky aluminum plant cuts off production, lays off 600 workers due to high energy costs. Now, I, I dove into this article a little bit too, and uh, it's a, uh, a plant that that smelts, I guess is what it's uh, called, um, aluminum, and prepares aluminum. And uh, uh, I guess that process takes huge amounts of energy, electricity, and with the high cost of electricity, it's just no longer feasible for them to do that, so they shut it down. And this plant happens to be the largest plant in the United States. So look out for aluminum shortages coming your way very, very soon. They're saying the plant is going to be closed down for at least 12 months, but they're giving no estimate as to when it might open. It, it just may not come back. Um, and there's here's another headline. A warning about the coming shortages of diesel fuel, diesel exhaust fluid, and diesel engine oil. And we've all heard about that one too, but uh, they're still sounding the alarm saying that uh, you know these shortages are out there. And I saw a video here just uh, about a week or so ago of a trucker at a truck stop. And he was showing that the truck stop was completely out of fuel. There was another truck stop across the interstate that was completely out of fuel. And all the trucks in the truck stop and some trucks that were starting to pile up on the, the off-ramp from the interstate, um, all running out of fuel. And they're going to be sitting there waiting until fuel was delivered. So we've heard that uh, the East Coast is going to get hit first, and it's certainly happening. Uh, there are places that are running out of fuel. And I saw also read another report over the weekend that they're saying that there's only a couple more weeks of DEF fluid. And if you're not familiar with it, DEF fluid is a, it's an exhaust fluid that diesel engines need. Even your car or your pickup truck, uh, two large trucks, this is a fluid that they need. And uh, there's only a couple weeks supply left of that. And, uh, you know, so when that's gone, then a lot of these diesel engines are programmed not to operate and not to run. So, <coughs> excuse me, supposedly there is a workaround for that. Uh, you're just re reprogramming the computer, uh, you know, but you have to have government permission to do that. So who knows if that's going to happen or not. <clears throat> and the Australian, here's a headline from Australia, warning their citizens fruit and vegetable costs to skyrocket in the coming weeks. Yeah, it's something we've all experiencing and will continue to experience. Hey, that's the, the news headlines from the last few days. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, smash that like button, comment down below, ask your questions, and be sure to subscribe. We've got a lot of great content on this channel, and I'll be bringing you these news headlines uh, a couple times a week is what the plan is right now. When I see something significant that I think that you need to be aware of that's probably not something you've seen, I will put a video together and stick it out there for you to keep you informed so that you can be a better prepper. Hey, until next time, uh, you know, that's it for now. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.